In this video, I'll show you how to visualize and analyze data using Pies. I've already connected the designer to a data source. Add a Pie by clicking on the button here in the ribbon. Drop the open field to the values section. The summary type is automatically set to count. In our case, that means the number of opened issues. Drop the issue type field to arguments and see how the different issue types break down. Now click on Edit Names in the Pies menu to create a new name that will be displayed in the dashboard's caption as well as captions of specific pies within the dashboard. Let's look at how to change colors. Click the Edit Colors button in the Home ribbon to change a global color palette. In the dialog, specify the required colors for each issue type and click OK. The pie allows you to slice the displayed data by specified dimension values. Drop the product name field to the series section and you'll see how the issue types are further broken down by platforms. To filter the pie, use the Edit Filter button. Here, specify the required filter criteria and click OK. You can use Clear to reset filtering. Let's see how to sort different products by number of open issues. Click the Product Name Menu button and select Sort By Opened. Switch the sort order to descending. You can also use the Top End feature to limit the number of displayed pies as well. The pie also allows you to drill down. Go to the Data tab and press the Drill Down button. Then, add the employee field to arguments. You can click pie segments to see the number of open issues assigned to different employees. Use the drill up button in the pie caption to move back to the parent level. Let's see how to add some interactivity to this pie. Add a new chart dashboard item and use it to display the variation of open issues over time. Note that pie segments and chart series corresponding to specified issue types are the same colors. Select the pie, go to the Data tab and enable Multiple Master Filter. Select the required pie segments to filter the chart on the right according to the selected issue type. Click the Clear Master Filter button to reset filtering. You can also filter by series. Just switch the target dimension to series. Click the required product to see corresponding data on the chart. Let's look at different options that affect layout and style settings of the pie. You can arrange pies within the dashboard automatically. To arrange pies in a specific number of columns, use the Arrange in Columns button. The Arrange in Rows button allows you to arrange pies in a specific number of rows. The Data Labels allows you to specify values within Data Labels. And Tooltips allow you to specify values within Tooltips. You can manage the visibility of Pi Captions using the Show Captions button. And you can specify the pie style using the pie and donut buttons. Finally, the coloring group allows you to manage coloring of the pie. To learn more about this, make sure to check out the DevExpress Dashboard's coloring video. And that's it! Find out more about pies by clicking on the link below and checking out our documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.